I didn't even hear the clap on your end. It's because I'm beautiful. Um, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. Fuck you, I'm going to play Starfield. I mean, you you have played it quite a fucking lot. You, you played it way too much. Shut up, no, 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 no. What is it, 27 hours if you calculate for the time that you left it open while you fell asleep? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And it's not even technically out yet. It technically doesn't come out for another two days, three days. But anyway, I have the Rona, so this is going to be a fun fucking episode. Hello everyone, this is Caleb Boudreaux. I'm the editor-in-chief of an extraordinary life.online. As always, this is the Joystick Junkies podcast. And Ryan's a bitch who doesn't want to laugh with us or talk with us or hang out with us anymore. So we always have Kyle, though. Kyle's a good friend. Hi, how are you? <laughs> how you That's feeling, Kyle? It's Dorfield. That's a, that's a wonderful, authentic human feeling there. Yeah. I'm pretty Ooh, sure it's Starfield. raining. It's sunny as fuck over here. <laughs> so. Like, 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 I don't have my overhead light on. All this backlight is from my bathroom and the sun. You can see where it changes, like, right there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh... And I hit him with the... Hello? Did I unplug it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> ah. Look at that auto-white oh. balance. Like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> so, no. how are you liking, uh... Starfield, Mr. 27 it's absolute Hours? absolute garbage. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> really fun. Um, it's hard. They, they don't tell you a lot of shit. Yeah. Like, like, I didn't know how to pick items up. And I was like, oh, maybe it's just like, you know, Skyrim. Oh, hey, look, it works. <laughs> yeah. They just expect you to know most of the controls from their previous games. <laughs> well, not even that. But like uh, dog fighting. They don't teach you how to dog fight. Like in most yeah. games with dog fighting, they're like, oh, yeah, you know, you do this barrel roll to, to escape this kind of weapon and all of that. No, they're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They just like here's how you do the power thing that is unique to this game. It's not unique, bro. It requires me taking my hand off my mouse to change power. No, no. See, I'm I'm stuck having to play with damn controller, so uh, it's it not that hard for me. Picks. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I kind of messed up my finger. It's it's not that pretty. Yeah, how how's um, the nail bed doing? Uh, it's actually not that bad. Um, the swelling's gone down for the most part. And now it's just healing back over. That's good. Um, I did find out something funny, though. It is the exact same mm. nail that my dad cut off ha. in a table saw accident. Ooh. So, yeah, we're matching now. Mm -mm. Like father, like son. Yeah, yeah. But... So, how many goofy shit have you seen, or how much goofy shit have you seen in Starfield? Because I've seen nothing but Bethesda ass bugs. Like, I had one crash, but that's only because my CPU got maxed out <laughs> um, um. trying to record, because I record everything off of the same system. Mm -hmm. So, like, trying to no. record and all of that, it just, it went inside of uh, New Atlantis. Uh, so maybe a kind of small spoiler, but uh, when you go to the lock, oh, nice. Just mute yourself. Lovely. <laughs> I did, sir. Or sneezing. No, I was, no, that was definitely a cough. <laughs> definitely a cough. Uh, no. So when you go to the lock and, uh, it's right before you get to the inner walls 
know what I'm talking about? Mm-mm. How far in the game are you? I'm 20 hours, but I've been doing a lot of, like, side shit. Okay, so you haven't dealt with the Crimson Fleet yet. Um, no. So, I actually, I was looking around, and I was, um, Game Ranks did, like, a 10 things the game doesn't tell you. Mm Mm-hmm. And it said one of the biggest things that it doesn't tell you is if you do the Crimson Fleet early, you're going to end up having to spend more money going back to the Crimson Fleet later eh, than yeah. if you just do the Crimson Fleet later. Because, like, every time you kill someone, like, let's say you take out a small Crimson Fleet encampment due to mm-hmm. the main storyline, you have to pay, like, a $100,000 fine to get back in their good graces. Oh, my God. And it's like, that's every time you do it. Jesus so just Christ. do that as one of the last quests. You're mm-hmm. good. Like, so I was like, yeah. okay, yeah, I'll put that on the shelf. So, I mean, I'm not going to spoil that because you're not there yet. And I don't know how many people are. But uh, it's the classic Bethesda character stuck in the air glitch. Oh, yeah. And the, <laughs> Delgado, he's the main guy that you deal with, okay? He got stuck floating in the air probably about 20 feet up, and I couldn't progress the mission. And I was like, well, I don't want to game save because I'm, like, right here. I don't want to rewalk that distance. So I just happened to lob a grenade, and it blew him half, like, straight into the stratosphere. And then he spawned <laughs> coming out of the ground and opened the door for me. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and then you saw my recording of, uh, what, what's her name, Andrea? Andresia? Is yeah, this Andresia. how they're... Uh, when I was just standing there talking, uh, I forget the guy's name, but, uh, she was just standing there just like spazzing out. Oh and what yeah. It ended up, what it ended up being was a collider issue between a cardboard box and a trash can that she <coughs> somehow phased into each other during the cam, dur- during the dialogue scene. So they, they were just spazzing and she was just bouncing up and down. And when the conversation ended, the boxes flew in opposite directions. I was oh, like, dude, yeah. Yeah, it gave me Star Citizen bug vibes. I was like, this is not Bethesda. This is like straight up CIG collision issues. <laughs> <laughs> See, I haven't but, had I haven't had anything like that. No, it's more like um, they don't. The NPC doesn't follow me, so I open a door, like an airlock, go inside of it, close the mm-hmm. airlock, and then like after I make my way through, then they open the other airlock, or yeah. it's. Um, like, they're standing on the thing that has to close for the elevator to glow, go up. So, it's picking the thing up to close, and they're just floating now. Mm-hmm. And as soon as it opens up, they just fall to the ground. Like, it's 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 shit like that. I've had one where they were floating around fighting. Um, but um. none, like, game... Br- I've had, like I said, I've had one crash... I've had a lot oh. of visual issues where the screen just blacked out for a little bit and then came back. Mm-hmm. You were talking about uh, NPC following issues. Uh, Noelle. You know who she Noelle. is, right? Noelle. Yeah, the black girl in the lodge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so um, that's when I found the, the, the watch case. I was supposed to be following her to find my own room. Mm-hmm. And it took 20 fucking minutes for her to walk from the artifacts to the staircase. Jeez. She was just meandering around, just back and forth. And then when she got to the staircase, it's like she ran into the railing and got stuck. <laughs> I was like, I'm leaving. I left the, the lodge, came back, and she was already upstairs. See, <laughs> I haven't had anything like that. Dude, I, it's making because I've seen, uh, have you seen Moist Criticals? No, I haven't really watched anything about it. Dude, Charlie's gameplay is full of freaking bugs. <laughs> <laughs> like one where um, Sarah just floats the entire time that they're having this oh, battle yeah. and it's just running in the air. And I'm like, how the fuck does that even happen? Yeah, it happens. Like, um, well, I had an issue where I had uh, Emma Wilkins, I think her name is mm-hmm. from the, the frontiers or whatever. And Sam Coe. I had both of them as followers on my ship. Or, well, they were, they were on my ship. And I landed somewhere, and I went out, and they both followed me. And we were doing a mission, and all of a sudden, out of fucking, like, left field, Vasco shows up. I'm like, what the fuck? 
he's assigned to stay at the lodge. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yeah. I, it was really weird. Yeah, I had I was doing the uh, the casino space mission, this casino space fight fight. I don't know if you got into that one yet. Which one's that one? Um. Oh, by the way, I, I don't I don't think these are spoilers. I'm not talking mm-hmm. about any main quests. Just for the listeners out there that, um, we're we're gonna be talking about a lot of gameplay. So, if you don't want to hear anything about it. I'm sorry. Um, but it's a zero G fight in a space casino and you just fight pirates. Oh, I haven't done that one yet. Pretty neat. Um, have you done any zero G fighting yet? No. Mm-mm. So they were completely truthful. Uh, Bethesda was if you use a b- ballistic gun in space, it will throw your ass back. So and it's like boundary almost, right? Yeah, so, okay, cool. and I know this for a fact because I didn't even think about it and I shot a shotgun, shot a guy <laughs> in the face with a shotgun and I just fly back. Um, but that was another one where it was just, I go in and then Bruh. Vasco randomly shows up. Bruh. Squirt. No, no, l- l- it bubbled. The can. It yeah. bubbled. Oh, shit. Why, why'd you leave it in the fridge too long, bud? No, it, a lot of the cans were like this out of the pack. Oh. Yeah, I'm just going to have to hold the drink the entire time. I blame Nick. Uh, no, it's my mini fridge. Oh. I got me one of them little mini fridges. Yeah, I have Not one in the sponsor. corner of the room. No, this is one of the little ones that doesn't use a compressor. Oh. But it, it gets fucking cold. It goes all the way down to 12 degrees. <laughs> Jeez. Thermodynamics, baby. <laughs> See, I might have to get one like that, because the one that I have in here, I'm worried that I have too much power being drawn from this room. Mm-hmm. Um, no, it's uh, the Kaluli. It's a little 20 liter. It fits 24 cans. Oh, neat. Yeah, yeah this one's but like one with more. a with an, like with a freezer and everything, like a dorm room. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no, I can, I can get this all the way down to 12 degrees, but it also goes up to 140, like a little heater. Oh, neat. Yeah, it uses electrothermal uh, dissipation, so you can just invert the polarity and it'll change it. That's kind of neat, actually. Not yeah, you know, little heat exchanger things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's pretty quiet. Like, shit, my uh, my computer's louder. Also, speaking of Starfield, uh, it's so realistic because when I launch the game, my computer ramps up like a fucking jet engine. <laughs> oh lord! See, I don't even hear my computer. Like, my fans I only rarely turn seconds. on. Yeah, well, it's uh, the fan curve that I have set. Oh, I, gotcha, I have a gotcha, very, gotcha. very aggressive fan curve, so the moment my CPU hits, like, 75, it goes full fucking bore to drop it back down to 65. Fair. Yeah. But, I mean, my computer's been pretty quiet while playing the game, which is good. Yeah, mine has, um, too. Um, but uh, mine's all mesh, so it's there's no sound, like, isolation. Fair. Mine's on glass. Yeah. But, I mean, the, the game plays pretty good. I'm hitting about 75 FPS at 4K. Yeah, see, my build. I've seen... Now, we have pretty semi-unrealistic builds. <laughs> um, a little bit. A 4080, I I, I, I7 9700K. Yeah, you got a 9700K. I've got a 5800X 3D. Yeah. Um, well, we, we both they're not 16, the top of the line. Gigs. Yeah, uh, I'm 16, you're 32. Line. Yeah, yeah, I have 32. Um, I'm going to have 64 here shortly, but... Yeah. In time. I'm fine with 32. Well, I started getting into animations and stuff. Um, yeah, have you seen yeah. the documentary? No, no, I haven't. So, um, the Sorry. graphic that we made <laughs> um, for the roadmap... Mm-hmm. We did all the animation for the smoke and everything, and that takes up a lot of RAM. Here, give me two seconds so I can go grab a solo cup so I don't spill my squirt everywhere. Um, uh, uh, it's the first. The all... Yeah, I, I know, but it's Ugh. just uh, the first time I've ever heard somebody say so they don't spill their squirt everywhere. Um, but yeah, so we have pretty unrealistic builds as a whole 
So let's see what is what is Kyle doing? All right, so um, yeah, so we have pretty much realistic, unrealistic builds whenever it comes to benchmarks. Like we are unfortunately not like the be all end all. Everybody has this setup, so you know. Um, have you heard that a lot of like even 3070s, 4070s are having trouble running this thing? Yeah, yeah, I heard. It, it's pretty bad. Like, I'm struggling to run it at 4K, but I also have it maxed out. See, so I, I could spend some time and tune it and get, you know, 120, but I. The game's meant for a console, okay? <laughs> yeah, see, that's the thing that I'm not understanding. I could be totally, like, misrepresentative of the PC market just because I, 60 frames is perfectly fucking fine. Like, I have it yeah, on... Yeah, for a single-player game. Yeah, I'm playing it on my ultra-wide, which is locked at 60 hertz. Mm -hmm. So, it locks the game at 60 hertz. I rarely get over 40, 50% of the 40, 80 mm -hmm. at ultra settings, you know, 1080 ultra wide. I'm perfectly fine. Like I'm not. Yeah. No, I was reading about like all the benchmarks and how people were like, oh, it's so bad. You have to have a 4090 and a 7950X and all this stuff or a 13900 KF to run the game. And I'm like, but you don't. <laughs> yeah. I That's installed it on my laptop. 144 hertz. Yeah, it started installing. I installed it on my laptop last night, but I haven't been able to yeah. play it yet. And uh, Ryan, who's not with the podcast for whatever reason, um, <laughs> bitch, he's a bitch. Uh, installed it on his ROG Ally. Was it his Ally or his Steam Deck? So he installed it on his ROG Ally. Was able to mm -hmm. get 45 FPS, yeah. like At stable. At 720, yeah. but it kept crashing. Well, yeah, but it probably looked really good. Like, people say it runs immaculate on the Steam Deck when you follow the guide that's on Nexus, which yeah. I actually haven't looked at. Um, Flashbang. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see here. Where did it go? Steam Deck Essentials. Um... It's a mod to improve it for lower-end PCs. Um, it's pretty easy to do, and it doesn't do anything crazy. Now, it does require, with the Steam Deck, doing the cryo utilities and set your VRAM to 4 gigs rather than the 1. I don't know why they locked it at 1. But it basically compresses all the texture files and allows you to run the game at 40 FPS at the Steam Deck's native resolution. Yeah. Which is, I think, 800 by 1200, if I recall. Okay. But... 40 FPS at a 1200 uh, display is not bad. When you think about the fact that it's small, it's running on something that is probably a little more powerful than a Raspberry Pi. Yeah. But it's a game that's meant for a console to begin with. So, so it's built around the console. So it's used to running at 30 or 60 FPS. So that that's actually got me curious. Um, do you think this game is kind of the oh, I can't think of the word that I'm looking for. Basically, this is the this is what PC gaming is all about making it work. Like no, you have to tweak, you have to, you know, um tune your computer to make sure that it's it's mm -hmm. working properly like is this why most people are like not a fan of PC gaming. I actually have a great example. A buddy of mine at work wanted to get into PC gaming. He's coming from an Xbox uh, One S, I think. So not even current gen console. He was coming from that, so he's expecting how it runs that kind of game. right? So it's running 1080p, 60fps, completely fine. Mm -hmm. 4K 30 if it had it at the... I don't remember if the console has it at that point. No, the One X me, is the one that had 4K 30. Yeah, yeah, that's what he has. He has a One X. So, not not current gen, but 
still good enough to play games. He wanted that kind of expectation out of a computer for a thousand dollars. Hmm. 1080p, 60 FPS for a thousand bucks. It's doable, but not with modern hardware. No, and it's not even that, but it's um, you also have to think of the screen size too. Is he yeah. playing this on a monitor? Is he p- expecting to play this on a 50 inch TV? Uh, he was looking for a 27 inch monitor, not 1440. He was just going to do 1080 because it's well, used you, to 1080p. Well, yeah, but even then, I found that like um, so my the TV in my bedroom is a 50 inch, but it's a 1080i mm-hmm. 50 you inch plasma interlaced. <laughs> Well, it's, a, it's one of the old plasmas. Oh, yeah. The, like, they still every t- look good. They do. They're, they're beautiful. But every time you turn it on, the whole, the whole house goes... Ooh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you can hear it starting up. Yeah. You can probably see it start up from outside when all the lights go... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. But it's turn like... Turn that on. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like... Um, it takes the old, it takes the 980 Ti more to run it on that than it did mm-hmm. to run on this monitor here. 1080p versus 1080i. Interlace doesn't make that big of a difference, but it's the size. Like, those are a lot of pixels to render. Well, it's the same amount of pixels. They don't change. I thought the it's size the of them of- changes. Nah. Yes, but it's the same amount of pixels. The problem is, is the actual hardware that it's plugged, that is being plugged into to run it. So, like, your 980 Ti yeah. handles it fine on 27-inch 1080p. But when it plugs into the TV, it now has the TV encoder that it's trying to fight with. Gotcha. Because you're dealing with an interlaced, which is basically two 720 images. Besides the point. <laughs> <laughs> It's the it's the actual monitor that you're plugged into that's having the issue, that's causing your GPU to power be more power hungry. Interesting. Yeah. All right. But no, no, no. Back to my buddy. He got a computer for I think it was like nine hundred and fifty bucks, thirty fifty Ti, and I think a twenty six hundred X. And he said he hated it because it played horrible. I went. Let me look at your computer for a day. Let me just look through it and all that. And I knew immediately it was bad because drivers were out of date. Well, of course. He's running a B350 motherboard. Mm. Not even a B450. And he's got 8 gigs of RAM. Mm. On a yeah, platter see. drive. On a platter drive. 5400 RPM. See, okay. That makes me sound... Like a snob, mm-hmm. but like how for a thousand dollars? Yeah, no. You couldn't like you know did a B four fifty i and well not even that you can stick you, of RAM. You can easily get just if you got a better motherboard just for like an extra couple bucks, you could have yeah. easily gotten like a two hundred and fifty six or a five hundred gig SSD. To mm-hmm. at least boot off well, of, put your favorite game and then your other games on a mm-hmm. platter drive, you know, fine. Yeah. But well, here's what I did for him. I told him, look, put a couple hundred bucks aside, buy these items when you get them, and let me build a computer for you, and I'll make it better. Replace his motherboard with a B450i, or not a B450i because it's ITX, but I think it was a B450f from Asus, so they're full ATX, mm. and... I donated him 16 gigs of RAM. Aww. Kyle, you're a big old softy. No, it it was the time when I upgraded to 32 gigs. So I had the old 16 gig laying around. Um, And I wasn't going to use it for anything because we have so many kits of 16 gig from server building. (laughs) But um, I did that. And then I think it was when Black Friday happened last year when... Amazon had, you know, Samsung 970 Evos for, like, dirt fucking cheap. Yeah. I told them, just pick up a one terabyte. Don't worry about the price. And when he did that, he also got a uh, Seagate two terabyte drive for games, right? Mm. Threw those in, updated all of his drivers, got him on the latest BIOS version. He's still running the 2600X and the 3050 Ti. And all of a sudden, 
beautiful. It ended up costing like maybe 400 bucks. Yeah. And the yeah. guy that he bought it from could have done that. <clears throat> PC gaming is, is pretty simple whenever you kind of know what to expect, but a lot of people just don't want the tweaking. Like mm -hmm. um, Amber's computer uh, only has eight gigs of RAM. Gross. But oh, oh, I'm not a fan. But <laughs> from what she plays, like she plays Dis Dream Disney Dreamlight Valley, Stardew yeah. Valley, House Flipper, and I th I forget the fourth game that she plays. A lot of the single player games. Yeah, and it's 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 perfectly fine. All of that runs off of an SSD. You can can't even tell that it's on eight gigs of memory. Whoa, 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 whoa. In 15 minutes, it's going to rain over here. Holy shit. Finally. Yeah. It's been hot as fuck. It really has, dude. And then it cooled down all of a sudden over here. And that's why I thought, like, maybe, okay, it's I got a cold or something. No. No. Let's she see. got the Rona. Eh. Oh. Got the vid. awkward yeah hold on what, 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 what you doing there bud yeah, uh, my my roommate's girlfriend just texted me I'm being kidnapped <laughs> she's being kidnapped or you are being kidnapped she is being kidnapped by who I don't know I heard the alarm go off earlier but that it hasn't been four hours so nick's not in houston i feel like she's lying so i'm just gonna ask her hey what's up <laughs> i was about to okay. make a bad joke i'm not gonna make that joke do it do it do it i don't care no because he watches this show i'm not gonna make no, that doesn't. joke he doesn't watch this show he doesn't even know what it's called ryan are you sure you're at work Oh, I thought you were talking about my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> we already know Ryan doesn't watch it. He doesn't even know what Starfield is. Starfield's Starfield. got 27 hours and he doesn't even play the game. Oh my god. I, guess, I thought it was... No, it was 25 hours and he doesn't play mm. the game. Because uh, he, he left it on one when he oh slept and one when he was at work. No, hold on. About Starfield. Back to the game, right? No more rambling. Mantis. That mission... Yes. Uh. Six Semper Tyrannus. Um, let's just say if you do do that mission, tell your follower to stand fucking still. Oh, yeah. Tell your fucking follower to wait. I ended up pulling out my Razorback. You've seen my Razorback, right? Razorback. 250 damage per shot. No. You oh, you haven't seen it? Mm -mm. I'll, have to, I'll have to launch the game up, load it up, and let you look at that gun. It is so overkill. 250 damage with flame rounds. Oh, I geez. looted it from a mission. You know those turrets, the four turrets that yeah. you have to deal with? Two shots, they're dead. I killed all the turrets and then typed the code and ran. Because uh. <laughs> I was trying to do it, and my, my follower uh, decided to go down the staircase and hit the wrong letter. Oh god! Immediately, just I'm like, oh fuck, fuck, fuck. So I, I'm just popping trauma kits while I'm running back out of the room so I don't die. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just sitting there in the doorway, peeking and think, killing the turrets. God, but Man. Hey, um, for anyone who goes to run that mission, uh, you want to carry two guns with you: a high power flame gun and a very, very good EM weapon. Why? I didn't flame need any of those. First, flame gun for the first part, so you can two tap all of the enemies, and then EM weapon for after you get past the code. Oh, robots. Yeah, yeah. Um, I took out all the mining turrets. <laughs> so, what do you think of that ship, though? Um, uh, it's it is my compared to mine, but wow. I also did that mission pretty late. Oh yeah. See, I, I did it. I did it probably fifteen hours after you did. Gotcha. See in the it, story in in the storyline. So I already had a pretty yeah. powerful ship. So I had um my 
my ship is mainly for cargo, but I need to reconfigure it because Mine's both. I my ship I have one like I have an infirmary. I have like one of each of the different console like um what do they call them? Uh little little pl pl places like the three by ones. Yeah. The problem is like the the um armory, right? I'm expecting it to be like the same armory that's in the back of that ship where it's like gun crates everywhere, gun uh like plaques to hang up your weapons in all three little bitty squares. Mm -hmm. No, just one. Just in half of one of the squares are three gun crates, three uh gun racks and then the other two squares are empty and you can't add anything to it it's like fucking why here let, let me let me just uh right like, because i'm trying to i'm gonna let you uh finish while you're look looking that up I, yeah look at what i just sent this okay. is why i like ship building okay um someone is a crackhead i believe that but we'll like have to look at it in a minute <laughs> okay um but it's like my my whole thing is I'm trying to collect all of the old world weapons. Mm -hmm. So the VSS Venturez is in there in the game. Um, the M1911 is in the game. My two world wars. You mean um, the, the 2311. The 2311. That, that's what it's called. It's the no. 2311. There, there's a 2311 in the game. Is there really? Yeah, it looks really cool. Um, the one I'm talking about is like, they call it like the old world pistol it's or something earth, like that. Yeah. Is it old earth? Yeah. It's called old earth and then something. Um, and then there's the old earth AK. Yeah. Then there's the AK. Then there's, um, a trench shotgun too. Yeah. Let's see. What did you do on Reddit? Look at what I posted. Someone went through and redesigned the razor crest in Starfield. Why does the Razor Crest look familiar? What is you it know from? What the Razor Crest is. Um, you're, you're gonna it's have the Mandalorian to... bounty hunting ship. Oh, I haven't seen the Mandalorian. Still, it's like an iconic ship from Star Wars. It's neat as someone, fuck, though. Someone recreated. Now, it's not identical to it, but I mean, the design concept is there. I wonder... Here, let me post this so you know what it looks like since you've never seen it. That looks I wonder what the interior identical. looks like then. Uh, well, I know what the ship bed landing bay looks like because I have that. I don't know how the cockpit looks, but... um. I need you to tell me exactly which armor you have and what it looks like. Because the one I have fucking sucks. I have I have the, uh, the Tayo armory bay. See, I have the Tayo too. Is it a two by one, one by one, three two by, by one. one, two by one? It's a two by one. Yeah. Are both? I like the look of it. Are both of the uh, the slots actually an armory? No. Okay. See, I'm trying to I find. Have a, I have a docking collar in the first half. Okay. So it kind of blocks it all out. Yeah. Because, like, man, that it, that irks my nerves. Because you can't so, even... Like, there's so many things wrong. My ship is, like, 99% Tayo. Yeah, mine too. Actually, yeah. let's... Have, let's oh, you haven't seen the photo <clears throat> of my newest one. I'll have to take a photo of it. All it's right. a long boy. It's a long boy. <laughs> let, <laughs> let me, let's talk about some of the things that irk the ever-living shit out of us about the ship building real quick. Uh, my that, biggest thing is... Like, I like it. Don't get me wrong. But like, unlike a uh, Hearthstone Hearth from uh, Skyrim, whenever you could build your um, your own building, like your own house and stuff, mm -hmm. um, or even I think Fallout Four, you could do it too. Yeah. But like, you want to you want to blah, 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 blah. you want a bookcase. Awesome. Put a bookcase and then you just file all your books in that bookcase and then it displays them all, right? Mm -hmm. You can't do that here. If you no. want an armory where all three of your things are just about displaying your weapons, awesome. But guess what? You have to find one where 
actually it comes with it because you can't add a chest you can't add all of these other things like it's just so annoying but i'm 20 hours in i still haven't figured out how to base build okay so i found out like the bare minimum of it and i have a water generator <laughs> i don't remember where i made the outpost so uh whoops see but i'm gonna make it right outside of my dream home yeah just but, because hey, i can that, remember where that is that dream home though so beautiful did you see it so yes i've already Dude. put a couple things down it's beautiful and it it's that's neat. where i have my watch case at yeah well actually i, I think i accidentally on sold mine counter. oops um but see the thing that i love about that dream home is what fucking selling items sucks because the trade authority only has five thousand credits oh my god that's a suit and a pack you're done yep and you gotta go find another one. Have you ever have you been able to sell contraband yet? No. So I'm I, waiting on unlocking a shielded cargo. You don't you don't unlock it. What? No, no you, you don't get un- it from Crimson Fleet. Yes, but you can also go to the Red Mile on Poly something um, mm-hmm. and buy them. They're like really cheap. Thing but, is, um, I'm waiting to get a B class. Gotcha. Upgrade. I think well, I need to kill like five more ships, and then I'll have it. Ah, well, see yeah. the the Mantis ship that I was uh, that you said was dog ass has one built into it. Mm-hmm. So I put some cargo in there, and I took it in. I was finally able to sell some, but they kept coming after me, dude. Mm-hmm. Like, well. See, here's the problem. My go-to ship right now, which I kind of call the the loaf of bread, uh, I'll, just, I'll just send a photo of why I do that, uh, has 960 cargo. I mean, yeah. And then everything else, it has a total of like almost 2,000 cargo with all of the draw, with all the modules. Mm-hmm. So it's got a lot of cargo capacity. And then I moved to like the Mantis, it's got what, like 450? <laughs> cargo full, cargo full, fuck, <laughs> can't do anything. Yeah, I mean, I get that. Um, same thing happened to me whenever I grabbed the Mantis ship. Like, I literally had to pull everything out of the inventory just to put the contraband in there. Only for, like, a 56% chance that they won't detect it. Yeah. And if they didn't detect it, if they did detect it, I would have been like, well, fuck. Time to load. Load a save. I wish you could preview the interior of your ship when you're building it. That would be great. Because when I was building mine, there's a issue when building your cockpit, your dock, and your landing pod all have to be able to connect to each other. Yep. So I had to rearrange my ship just to make it work. <laughs> but you can go to all the other things that just don't have vertical ladder access, mm-hmm. which I hate. Also... Uh, when you build a th- when you build a triple decker, uh, don't just jump down the hole. Uh, I may or may not have had to use bandages a couple times. You dumb motherfucker! In my in my own ship. Ah, uh, mm. all right. Also, did you know that you can flip toilet paper rolls upside down? I- <laughs> Why is this something that you've tried? <laughs> um, because it's funny. <laughs> Uh, it's all over Reddit. You can you can become horrible and flip all the toilet paper rolls upside down. <laughs> um, also, what is your go-to uh, under armor or clothing? I think I I don't remember what it's called, but I sent you a picture of it. It's just some suave like James Bond esque. Oh yeah, I'm running uh, the settler's poncho. You know the bright yellow poncho. With, oh yeah, with, with the ventilator. And then I'm running utility headphones. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking dope. It's great whenever I get into my ship because, you know, I'm wearing this big old buff, like, flight suit. Mm-hmm. And then just utility headphones and a cap. <laughs> I'll, have to t- I'll have to take some photos of my character. I I spent way too fucking long in the character creator. Somebody made Todd Howard in the cr- character creator. No, that was just Photoshop. Are you serious? Yeah, I was looking at it. You can't actually make Todd Howard. Damn, that sucks. I fell then, for it. You know, mods. Yeah. 
Yeah, so, no, it, it was a big old meme. That actually makes me um, want to ask you a question. Um, oh. This may be a very... Um, uh, what's it was controversial take on the whole exploration system but i think that vehicles at least a rover would have been a good idea what yeah. what is your take i really wish there was some kind of at least you know planetary side mount of sorts see could be a rover could be anything <clears throat> even if it were like a little rover that was nothing more than just a two wheel, maybe like a three little three wheel trike or something like that. It would have been perfectly yeah. fine. Like what was that trike in death stranding? Oh, something the, like that. Uh, yeah. Something small. And it doesn't have to go into your ship. But like some of the, some of the boarding bays are so large that they could very well easily fit in there. Oh yeah. So, Conspiracy corner here. Um, the reason they didn't... You're good. The reason why they didn't add them was because they didn't want people to know exactly how small the tiles were on the planets. Really? Really? That's that's depressing. Ugh. No, and that's what it feels like anyway. Yeah, I really wish that there was, or even just like you can use movement modifiers and stuff like that, but when you land somewhere, and it says, "Hey, you need to travel five hundred meters," it's gonna suck. <laughs> yeah, it's just dog shit. We all know it's going to suck. Like. Why why would why would they even I don't oh, know, it just it. seems counterintuitive. I love it. I'm I'm looking at the Starfield subreddit and I see this post that was seven hours ago. Please, we need land vehicles. The first thing I wanted when I arrived on Mars. And it's a photo from Star Citizen of the Rock DS. Uh, I mean Ooh, that guy's ship is pretty cool. So another thing I kind of agree with them on. Mm -hmm. is the sense of exploration in towns. Yeah. Um, without having a map, you actually have to look around and explore the town. And sure, you, you don't know exactly what's there. You don't know what you're missing. But that's kind of half the, the fun, right? Like mm -hmm. Red, Dead Revol uh, Red Dead Revolver. Red Dead Redemption 2. Red the, Dead Re Revolver. Um... What the fuck is the name of that horse? That Snow White Arabian horse? Oh, I don't remember. Like, that sense of wonder. Whenever I was working at GameStop, and all of a sudden, uh, somebody came in, and they were like, dude, did you find this horse yet? I was like, what do you mean? Like, because it's, instead of everything being laid out for you, now you're a community going out and finding all of these different things that you can do. And, you know, it's it's... It's a neat sense of wonder, um, but, you know, land vehicles, guys. Fucking land vehicles. Yeah, just give us something. Like? Like, I mean, my issue is when you're landing at a new place that you've never been to, and it says, oh, 400 meters away, but you're also carrying, like, over capacity and you just get encapped like immediately because you're sprinting. Yeah. You're like, man, I don't want to spend 10 minutes walking. Yeah. Like, okay, so it's not fair to compare this game to Star Citizen because the development storyline is completely different. Well, not even not even that. The way I the way I look at it, okay, you have no man's sky. Mm -hmm. You have Starfield Elite Dangerous Star Citizen. Yeah. It's, uh, Star Citizen is always going to be the pinnacle of space travel games because what they're developing. But my Yeah, they're looking for is, a whole simulator. Like, yeah. This yeah. is like DCS, but space. <laughs> yeah. 
But um, my main issue is, even when you're starting out, some of the starter ships that you have can hold ground vehicles in them. Yeah. And in, and in this game, I mean, shit, I could deal with a fucking e-bike. I don't care. Something that makes me move faster than three meters a second. Exactly. And it's the same thing with um, Elite Dangerous. Like, the moment that you have the... Um, now, it's an expansion because it came out after the game started and, you know, they needed more funding. Um, yeah. But it was their... I want to say it was their Frontier expansion. I could mm-hmm. be wrong. It's been a while since I've played Elite Dangerous. But it gave you the buggy, the scarab. You know, you can yeah. land on yeah, planet... Cool drop it down and just just have fun there was nothing to do on planets at the time um like you did have some planetary bases but for the most part it was just to explore and you know mine little things here and there but it was there like not asking for anything like a big utility truck to to pull up to an abandoned post for you to just loot and then throw all of your shit into the truck to take back to the, to the thing, you know, but like something, man, what is up with that face, Kyle? Oh, I'm, I'm looking at a really cool cockpit design. Oh, the Cabo C3 bridge. It's like an actual bridge for your ship. Oh, that's neat. It, it, oh, it's fucking massive. Uh, it looks said. like it's uh, three blocks wide. Ooh. Yeah. Is that in game? Yeah. It's uh, 8,000 credits. See, okay. But it's flat and wide. Yeah. It's really cool looking. That's what she I'm, said. But I re- I really like my my uh, cockpit that I have. How it's much the, the round one? How much money do you do you expect you to just like what do you expect to spend more time and money on? Shipbuilding? Colony building. Uh, probably ship building. Because I already have the dream home, so I really don't need to build a colony. Well, true, but... I mean, colony well, I mean, brings in money, which brings true, in ships. True, 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 But I can also just go steal ships. <laughs> F hair. Actually, okay, so... Um, there is a really good ship that you should get if you want to do a lot of grab jumping. Uh-huh. Uh, it's part of the Crimson Fleet line. It's the actual prisoner shuttle. That thing's grav is max. Max bar. <laughs> nice. It's spool time is like... But it's Jeez. cargo and grav. There's no weapons at all. Damn. Okay, but so- it is such a good ship to fly. It hauls like a motherfucker. Oh, I am sure. What is what is the craziest interaction that you've gotten in space? Because I've got I've had two. Um, I don't know actually. So, I've had two really wholesome ones. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've I've been hit with the extended car warranty one. Wait, what? <laughs> I haven't seen that you one yet. Wait, that? what? Yeah, I got hit with the extended warranty one. I was so mad. W- please explain this. Uh, the, there's a thing going around. Um, yeah. It's a random encounter that's better than the Uranus joke. And you will get contacted by an unknown ship that says, Thanks for responding to my hail. We've been trying to contact you about your ship's extended warranty. Your warranty coverage has expired or is about to expire. Bruh, you have got to be fucking kidding me. Even in space, 200 years later, they're still doing this shit. Yeah. Good lord. No, yep. see, the two wholesome ones that I've had, I've jumped into a system where uh, an elderly lady named Grandma. Yes. Grandma. Was, I ran into Grandma. I ran I into Grandma. Not. She is adorable. There was no food ready, but she was just adorable. Uh, nice little ship. I was not about to kill her and take it, but nice ship. Here. Um, and then another you think one. I'm joking. All right, I'll take a look <laughs> at it. But uh, the other one was a sixth grade science class was flying around and ran out of uh jump fuel. Mm-hmm. 
It was adorable. Oh, I ran across it. Reminded me of Miss Frizzle. Iron. Oh, what was yeah. it? Yeah, um, it was a list vessel. They were. It was a colony vessel. Yeah, and I just happened to have like fifty iron on me. <laughs> so I was like, "Here you go. Have fun. Bye bye." <laughs> um, God, what is it? Oh, I had one where I was in New Atlantis. And I meant to click F to pull out my scanner and just lobbed a grenade oh, into, no. the city, into the city of people. Oh, no. Luckily, I had just got off the transit, so there was a quick save. And it was an instant, like, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> 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 Who put the letters right next to each other? Oh, no. Yeah, it, it was pretty bad. So, ever since that, I have been unequipping my grenades when I go into a city. Because, <laughs> you know, you can pull out the weapon and then you can reholster it, right? Yeah. You can't what the fuck are you going to do when you lob a grenade into a crowd of people? Yeah, you, you, you just <laughs> might, as well, might as well just run and jump on the grenade. Also, in New Atlantis, when you take the train from the lodge to the spaceport, how many times have you ran into that fucking cone? I don't think I've run into a cone. There's, like, a cone, like, this fucking tall. There's two of them right next to each other. And y you know the you know the whole uh, logical path uh, theory where people just yeah. disobey everything else? Yeah, I fucking knock that cone over every goddamn time. <laughs> I just, like, straight on just barrel through that fucker. I don't even care. So, um, speaking of New Atlantis and that dreaded... Uh, train. Have you been down to the well yet? Yes, I actually so, need to go back and do the brownout mission. Um, in I'm the well, the transit authority, I think it's called, or the something authority. Um, yeah. that's how you sell the contraband. Mm -hmm. Um, I had to learn that the hard way. Oh my god, dude! It's in the eighties today. I mean, it's not right now. But yeah, um, another cool little random moment. Another one. I doubt it was random, but um, oh, there's more I went into a system. Child. I went into a system and found um, a group of settlers fighting back against the Crimson Fleet. And you just help them win their independence. And it was just freaking grand. Yeah. It was great. But yeah, I I need to look at this mod here. Shipbuilder's tolerance tweaks. But I mean, it's it's a great game. It's not winning any. I, I doubt it's winning any game of the year awards. But it's a fun time, you know. Yeah, no, I I really like it. Um. But yeah, I know this is kind of a short episode for today. Uh, for is it really? It's been 53 oh minutes. Damn. But I mean, I that's... mean we, we can string along if you want to. We can, we can talk we about could, spoilers. We could, but... Uh, actually, actually, um, where is the VSS? You said you were going to tell me. You never did. Oh, the VSS yeah. is... Um, you can find it in a few different places. They have mm -hmm. one at the transit. Oh, not the transit. Um, the fuck's the name of that thing? The UC Surplus? Oh, okay, so it's at the surplus store. Um, and there's also one in the gun store in the residential district. Not the mercantile, right? Not the mercantile. Um, forget what it's called. But they also sell ammo for it. Uh, I need to find more. 7.62 by 39? No, 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 no. Um... 43 MI. Oh. MI. You know what that is? No. It's the one that the legendary pistol uses. Oh. Yeah. The I think it's the mag shot. Gotcha. The mag shot is pretty fucking good. Also, also, uh, have you done the frontier missions? The the Rangers? No. No? Uh, you might want to, because that pistol is... It's a highly modified Razorback. Uh, <laughs> it's called the Deadeye. Yeah, I have... 
I have quite a bit of quests completed, but I kept getting like sidetracked trying to go get specific spaceship parts. Mm -hmm. um, and then like this one time I was arrested and then the constant flashbangs. Yeah. Um, oh, the fiscal quarter. What? I was I'm just looking at really cool weapons. Oh, you're good. I was arrested in New Atlantis trying to do a quest and then arrested going like passing through a system which sent me to Neon, which threw me through another quest. And it's mm -hmm. like I just keep getting sidetracked by the game. Nice. Um Yeah, Deadeye is pretty cool. It doesn't do very much damage, but I mean it's a yeah. nice looking gun. You're a nice looking gun. And then the keel hauler, that's what it was. That pistol is fucking nice. That's like Keelhauler. my go-to right now when I have the ammo. Yeah. Because it's hard to find. Makes sense. Yeah, you get that from uh, the Crimson Fleet. Speaking of uh, finding ammo, that's another bitch and a half thing. Uh, I just buy my ammo at this point. <laughs> when fair. I'm looking for a very specific ammo, I go and buy it. Fair. I'll, I'll go to like three or four stores and just loot them all of their ammo. Yeah. Ah, flashbang. Uh, what is your go-to gun right now? Um, it would probably have to be the Coachman. The Coachman, the shot, the double barrel shotgun. Yeah, or That's the um, I don't think it's called the Peacekeeper. It's the fifty caliber one, but I have a suppressed one. Whatever it is, Lawmaker. Yeah, uh, I thought it was the Law Giver. I don't remember. Oh, maybe it is the right. lawgiver, but the uh, 50 caliber yeah, it's, rifle. Yeah, it's a lawgiver. Uh, I have uh, a suppressed oh, one, but it, it it's. Eh. Where's the one that I was using? Have you tried the pacifier yet? Yes, I have. Try, I have like a like a rare pacifier too. Yeah, me too. But I keep um, running out of ammo for it. I'm trying to remember the one that I'm using. It's a electric shotgun. Hmm. I don't remember what it's called. B -b 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 we'll stall for time while I try to find it. <laughs> well, we can uh, we can actually oh, wrap it the, up if you want. The Big Bang. The Big Bang is a cool weapon. I'm going to have to look into it. Yeah. It, it's an energy... It's a particle beam shotgun. Yeah. But it does like 120 damage. And I was using it to snipe the mining turrets. Mm. <laughs> That's it. It would two tap the robots. That's how powerful it is. Jeez. Yeah, it, it's a broken so, shotgun. So let's. Um, no. What would you give it on a scale of one to ten overall as a game? Uh, honestly, a seven out of ten. There are things that I'm looking forward to, but then again, it is, it is a BGS title, so uh, mods are going to be there. Uh, we're just waiting. Yeah. Everyone's like, "Oh, I want CBBE." You know what that is? No. It's it's the uh, the jiggle physics oh, body good mod God. from Sta Skyrim. Yeah. Or Jane Bod. Everyone's like, I want that. And I'm like, yo, I just want a ground vehicle so I'm not fucking in-capping myself five feet from my ship. Right. Because <laughs> if I had the option, and well, I mean, currently with my ship, whenever I'm going to it, I don't just enter the ship. I go straight to the cockpit because it's so far of a trek to the cockpit right now. Yeah, I'll believe it. <laughs> and it's a straight straight down, but it's like I'm spending like two minutes climbing a ladder. <laughs> but um, if I had the ability to exit my ship and get on a ground vehicle, I would be so much happier. Oh, I'm sure. Because like right now, uh, there's one mission that I was doing where it was like a, almost a thousand meter trek that I had to make. And at 500 meters, I made an outpost, so I can just fast travel to the outpost, and then fast travel to the site. <laughs> yeah, see, if you're having to do shit like that, there's a problem. Yeah, there's a problem when, you know, you're just playing the game, and it takes you five minutes to walk. Exactly. Like, and don't get me wrong, obviously I love walking games. Love yeah, Death Stranding. good. Stranging. D Stranding. Stranging. But, like... Come on, like, but I think seven out of ten is fair. Like, I'm yeah. I, it, this isn't 
some like I said, I, I doubt this is going to win any Game of the Year awards. I doubt this is going to set the world on fire with. Yeah, hell, I, I don't mean, even know if this is a this could be a console seller for Microsoft, possibly, but. Oh, speaking of which, have you seen the mods that allow you to use a PlayStation controller with PlayStation icons? Mm mm. It's fucking funny. Good God. Yeah, someone just did a remap of all the buttons and skin. Of well, yeah, that's pretty cool. Zayang, I think I have a couple of their components. I'm looking at uh, the different ship manufacturers. Oh yeah, the ion beam reactor. That's all they have. But yeah, so this is go- this is probably going to be the last time that we talk about Starfield for a while. Maybe, Maybe but there might be one we next week because that's when I am I actually done with the game. True, but we we don't want to like overload everything with Starfield this, Starfield what? that. We're trying to get away from the Arc Channel, bro. <laughs> God, we haven't been an Arc Channel ever. <laughs> um, but yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, uh, but yeah, you guys have a wonderful and extraordinary day, and uh, thank you for watching. Extra, extra. Uh, I'm gonna go play some Starfield. Some Starfold? Some Starfold. I'll send you a couple photos of my ship. Yeah, I want to see it, because that sounds like a really... I mean, not yet. I mean... Alright, now you can...